Yay! We're putting up the floating shelves today. I am Sarah James and welcome to my channel. I've been wanting to film more projects because I get into projects all the time without filming anything. So this project I'm determined to film. Um, we are doing Cam's home office. Um, I've already put on the coat of paint, which I put another video on, but I had my old laptop back then, and now I have my new laptop. So the picture's so much better on this one. I'm so, 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 so grateful for that. Um, but I am loving the color. I love the color, and I like my skin tone against the color. So Cam's a little bit darker than me, but I wanted the background to like really bring out him and his beautiful skin. So. We painted it green because the idea that he wanted to have in the space, because it's his office, is money. He wanted to manifest money and that idea of just abundance and wealth. So we're putting in the money, money juju into this room. And this is, one well, let me just give you a little tour of the space. This is going to be the focus wall where all the shelves are going. And we have our desk right here. It's full of some stuff and I built this desk. There's another video of me doing that. I don't think I actually filmed that project of when I built this desk, but <laughs> I did that. Um, so we have the desk right here. We have a closet that's going to be his storage space for the printer, for the, all that good stuff. This is the entryway door. I really want to redo this somehow because it just does not fit into the plan that I have. And I have an idea going on in my head, but we'll see how it goes. We're not there yet. We're on the shelves today. So we also have this one window and this is a walkway that people can walk by. We don't want to see a ton of computers. So we're going to have to find a fun, clever way to kind of cover those up. Um, let's see if I can get the light back on here because it went away. And then I did the window. Um, so we have one window and two pretty bright overhead lights. <sighs> so I've been in this space. I've been lucky enough to stay here in the space that I'm working at, which has been amazing. I'm getting paid to stay in a beautiful home and do something that I really love. And how can it get any better than this? How does it get any better than this? So I'm here in this space, and this is all the way downstairs. It's pretty good and soundproof, um, but we're putting up the shelves and we have the coats of paint done. <sighs> so here's where I'm at. How I like to line up the shelves, how I like to do shelving projects, and we wanted to do floating shelves for this, but I've always kind of had an issue with floating shelves. Just you know, deciding on how I want to do them, if I want to build them myself, if I just want to use two buys, whatever I want to do. Um, but in this part right here that I'm at, I've already taped up my, my outline, how I wanted the shelves. Um, and I, I didn't really record that. So typically what I do is just use painter's tape for it. I like to see how long I want it and do um, kind of like a map on the wall so I can be in the space and see how it's going to look in my head. And I'll put down where the studs are, how long I want the shelves, how many brackets I need, all that good stuff. And we've done all that. And now I've, I've gone ahead and started putting on the brackets. But here's where I get into a little bit of a issue with a lot of floating shelves is it seems like whenever you have brackets, um, or any kind of weight on the shelves, it really starts pulling down and it goes into the drywall a bit. And I feel like they've never really been just how I've wanted them. Like they haven't been sturdy as much as I'd like them to be. And so I've, I've, I've really thought hard about, do I wanna do brackets? Do I wanna do, what kind of floating shelves do I wanna do, whatever. And I came across a video that is from Bourbon, I wrote it down. It's the Bourbon Moth Woodworking. Really awesome guy, great personality. Um, and he has a video that says how to hang floating shelves the right way. So I clicked on that, I watched that. And what he did, he was at a client's house and instead of going on the drywall, on top of the drywall, he cut out and put it directly onto the studs. And I was like, Huh, I like that idea. 
Cam's a homeowner. He doesn't have to rent. He doesn't have to worry about deposits, which is kind of easy to cover up those holes anyway if you need to. But I do have that option to do it. <clears throat> and why not? I've never tried that way before. But before I did that, you know, you really have to think, do I want to spend all that time drilling holes in the wall? How many holes are going to be in the wall if he ever moves out? Do they want those shelves? Yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on. And I just decided to go for it. Because why not? We'll find out later on. We're not there yet. We're right here. So why not go for it and see how it works? And I am loving it. It's, it's so much, here's the thing. I have my stud finder and the stud finder works. It shows when the studs are there. But what I've realized in cutting out, you can see here, I've cut this out already and I've cut a couple down here out already. What I've discovered is even though it shows a stud in the wall, when I cut out the hole, there was a part of a stud where it was, but then there was foaming in between two studs. So if you get the screw in the foam instead of the stud, your shelves are not going to be that sturdy at all. It's going to crash down. It's going to be a hard, bad lesson to learn. So why not drill into the actual drywall? and find where the stud was. I found that I needed to turn these. These brackets that I have have two, let me see if I can get the light up on this. The brackets that I have have two screws. I ordered these online off of Amazon and they're five inches. It doesn't have a hole right here to put another screw. So you really have to catch the stud or you're out of luck. And what I've realized in cutting out these holes and I just, Use my awesome, awesome, awesome old tool. This has been amazing to have. If you don't have one of these, I highly suggest going out and getting one. You never know what you're gonna need it for. I've cut trim before. It's very easy to just get little precise cuts. Very easy to use. Yeah, I love it. So I've used this, trace out where it is, and I'll, I'll put a little post of that on here too and then just cut that out but I realized after I took it out that here's foam and here's where the stud actually was so it was really nice because when I had these flipped the other way when I wasn't sure what was behind it and it just said stud on the stud finder it was actually going into the foam instead of into the drywall so thank you guy at bourbon moth woodworking thank you because i did not even think of that and i've put up multiple shelves before and like i said with with floating shelves i've just never really been too comfortable like they always seem like they give a lot and drywall isn't isn't a hard hard surface so when something's pressing into it it's gonna give a little bit if you have too much weight on the shelves it always kind of sits away of the hair from the shelves instead of chiseling out the back of the shelf. This is just an easy way to do it. So for the shelves, I'm planning on having six inch shelves and eight inch shelves. And since this is going into the drywall, it's taking away about a half an inch. So right now it's about 4.5 inches that's gonna stick outside of the drywall that's going to go inside a six inch piece of two by. With an eight inch, I'm actually ordering a couple longer ones just so it has a little bit more to, to support the shelves with. And those should be here in a couple days. But this is building with Sarah. So we're just gonna have fun and see how it goes. And we're gonna put up some shelves today. Yay, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Um, I just really appreciate being here. I appreciate doing something that I love and I appreciate all the things in life that make it beautiful. I'm gonna put on my music and I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling because I never know when I actually wanna say something. And yeah, it's like Bob Ross, painting with Bob Ross, but I'm Sarah Jameson.
there's a little bit of a difference. Not much, I love pop glass. Okay, so one tip I wanna show you too. This is a way to help save on cleanup. If you have any piece of paper, because you're gonna be tracing around here, we're gonna trace around this thing, I'll, I'll film it. But when you have a piece of paper, you can just tape it up right here and create a little envelope, a little catch-all. So when you're pulling out and you're drilling out on the step, all of the debris falls into here instead of all over your floor or your new paint job because we just painted and we want to save the paint. So I just put up this little piece of paper, just construction paper with some painter's tape, created a little catch-all and we're going to be cutting out and uh, seeing how that catches it. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. If you can see it. When, when you're putting in one of these brackets, you can kind of see, let me turn this up. When you're putting in one of these brackets, if they have two screws on the side, I really wish they would do another screw on this side as well. That would be really helpful. So if you're the ones that's making these brackets, um, I can't remember where I got these from, but I got them online a couple days ago and they have the two screws and nothing on this side. So what happens is if you catch a stud, which hopefully you do, you got your stud finder, if you catch the stud and it grabs, those screws are gonna pull it together, which means that it's gonna pull into the drywall. It's gonna cut into the drywall on this side because there's nothing on this side to catch the other stud and then pull that over. Sorry, my face is so up to you, but you get the gist of things. Um, if there was a sec if there was a third one, if you have a, a bit that could cut out or you know any kind of uh, make a hole in there to create a third one of these, it would be really helpful to you if you don't go directly into the stud and cut that out. You can see the big shadow from the computer. Um, but yeah, so if you have the two, it pulls into the drywall quite a bit. And that's a no bueno. No bueno for, for quality or for any kind of shelving that I want to have up because eventually that's just gonna pull some way. Or maybe not, but chances are it's gonna happen. So you might as well just avoid that before that's the case. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take out the bracket. I've already traced around it. I'll just do a little insert. I've already traced around the bracket, but I'm gonna take it off and then cut it out. It was great doing it this way too, um, having putting up the brackets first and seeing where I wanted them. Because with the tape, it's it's great visual to have. But once I put up the brackets, I actually could realize that I didn't actually want a bracket. Like I didn't want a shelf right there, and so I removed two shelves. So being able to put these up first helps in a couple different ways because then I can see how I want my shelf layout and then it's very easy to just, these are all leveled out already. So now I just have to trace around each one and then take them off and cut them out. So it makes sense. If I cut it out first and then I realize that I didn't want the shelf there, eee, I don't want that. That's just extra work. So yeah, I'm gonna put these up first, see if I like them and then trace around them and cut them out if I do. And it's less clean up than that way. A little patch is a lot easier than a little square of drywall that you have to... Pulled one up that was so easy to get out. And of course, the one that I filmed is the hard one. You 
and see how that's catching all of this. All that is going in here. So it saves the wall. And ah, that's why there's a screw here. All the things you can find when you tear out some drywall. It might seem like it's going to be really hard to clean up, but it's really not actually. To patch these, I got more of the paint, so it's easy to cover up some paint. And not all of them are this hard. All the other ones that I pulled out have been pretty easy. Just been up until I filmed it, but it got a little harder. Once you get past that layer, and sometimes drywall can be pretty thick. You never know what you're working with until you pull it out. I didn't know that that screw was there, so if I would have put my bracket right here, the bracket would have only gone out to here. So I'm working with this screw. It wouldn't have gone all the way to the drywall, and the screws that come with the bracket are only this big. So it's not even really going into the drywall sometimes. And that screw, if you can tell, is not in there all the way. There's some space right there. About a quarter of an inch. That's quite a lot of space for a screw. Some little patience. This is where that song, Patience, comes in. I'm not in a rush. I'm just trying to do this well. So I can take my time and get it out without Go crazy and tear up the whole wall just to get to it. Just a little patience. Yeah. Just a little patience. This is, this is where the workout comes in. It's just doing, <laughs> doing little things like this. I don't want to like deter you guys from trying this because it's actually usually not this hard. But you know, with life, you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it might be a little more difficult. You just roll with it, baby. Roll with it. Roll with it good in the end. It's not always just as easy as somebody might make it look. But I'm gonna do another one too, so maybe that won't be. Is stubborn. It was just being a little stubborn. Oh, Take out a little bit more. I ain't got time for the pain because I need you. Yeah, I need you. Look at that. Like a glove. Like a glove. How amazing. How does it get any better than that? It only took about five minutes to do. Not too bad. But it's going directly into a stud. And I could tell that there was a stud in there because I could see the stud. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is not going anywhere. It is directly into the stud. How does it get any better than that? How does it get any better than that? So, yeah, directly into the stud. I feel like that's the way to go. I'm going to do another one. Hopefully it's not as hard. Eh, that wasn't even hard, but hopefully it's not as stubborn as that last one. But this is going well and we've gotten a couple done. We just have all the other ones to do. So we'll get going on that. Let's see if this one's easier to pull out. I feel weird. 
Oh, you know what? That's why I'm hitting a screw. There's another screw that's sticking out about three quarters of an inch. These screws that come with the brackets, they could be a lot longer. I, I was actually thinking about going out when I first got them and getting three inch screws just to make sure that they're long enough to go into the studs. And I didn't, which I don't need them now because I'm going directly into the studs through the drywall. So yeah, these brackets are great. I wish they had a third hole on this other side just to balance it out more so it's not just so one-sided because when this pulls in then you know it pulls it in so it sticks out a little bit more and then when i'm pre-drilling my holes in my shelves i have a, a drill guide and that's going to go in straight but if this is pulling a little bit an eighth of an inch then to get that on the board can be kind of hard so a third hole would have been very helpful on these brackets but everybody's learning so what a hundred percent stud this is. Oh, amazing. Here, do, 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 do. We have a little catch-all. So look at all that debris that would have landed on the floor that we've been sweeping up. We're still gonna vacuum and, and dust, but that's just a lot less cleanup that we have to do later. So having that there really helps. And that is all stud, baby, all stud, like my fiance. Yeah, a third hole would have been nice. But that goes in there pretty nice. I did a little oopsie. It pulled up a little bit too much and it pulled this little piece out. So we got some patch, we got some paint. We'll be able to fix that up and hopefully he won't even notice. I'll remember. But hopefully he doesn't, he doesn't notice. Okay, so just clean that up and move on to the next one. So what I learned before is this one right here, even though the stud had it right here, which is why I lined this up, I actually need to move it over a hair this way. Because the stud is there on that side, but insulation is there on that side. So we're gonna move this over a hair. So you see this? The stud finder found the stud, but in between the studs, there's two studs here, and in between is foam. So it's two two by fours pushed together, and then they foamed it. And that first screw that I had in for the bracket went straight where, out of all the places it could have gone, all the studs it could have gone into, it went straight into that little line of foam right there. So if I would have put a shelf on here, then put any kind of weight on it, what are the chances that that would have just come ripping out of the wall after about, I don't know, a day, an hour, right away? Who knows? But that was not hitting a stud. Even though the stud finder found the studs right here, it's going directly in between these two studs. So I really, really, really appreciate, I don't know what his name is, but over at um, Urban Moth Woodworking, thank you for posting that video because I never would have thought about putting it directly into the studs and it's pretty simple to do for the most part. There's been a couple of issues that I've had with, you know, if it's uh, <laughs> hit foam or whatever. I'm pulling out the drywall, but it hasn't been bad. It hasn't been that bad getting it out. And it definitely helps to see what I'm working with because now I know that all the brackets are going directly into the studs and I don't have to worry about them ripping out of the wall. 
as much as I would have if it weren't hitting a set at all and it was just right on top of the drywall here. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all, all things that I learned in order to hone in my craft and do something that I love. So thank you. I put up a lot of shelving for clients. So this is just something new that I've, I've learned. I probably won't do this too much with rentals because you're dealing with getting a deposit back and everything else. And I know Cam, so if you ever need me to remove these shelves, then you can come in here and patch them up. And it's, it's not that difficult to patch these up. And they're just like little, little rectangles. So not too bad. And thank you for that advice. Maybe this advice helps somebody else out there that wants to put up floating shelves and they've always had that same issue too with just not knowing how to get it where it's actually supporting in any kind of way. Um, and if you want to put a lot of stuff on your shelving, it's just easy to do this. You don't need that much. This, this is the tool that you want to get. This has come in handy many, many, many times. This is rigid. So go to your local hardware store. I love Home Depot. I'm just a Home Depot girl. Um, go to your local Home Depot. Uh, uh, what is that? home improvement store, that's what it is. Go there and get one of these. That's good to have in your closet if you ever come across and kind of need to cut your way out of a situation, yeah? Trim sometimes doesn't need to be there, but you can get rid of it easy and breezy with this one. So you need that, you need a level, you need some brackets, and you need some time on your hands. I have all those things, so I'm doing it. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you've ever tried this technique, let me know if you've gone directly into the studs or if you've had a problem with floating shelves. This might be the opportunity for you to try something different. I'm putting up a ton of shelves. If you're just putting up one, then it's not gonna be that much work to do. Um, but if you like this video, I'm so glad. Thank you for watching. If you wanna see any of my project, uh, projects, you can go to sarahjames.tv um, and it's on my website, abundantpossibilities.com. I'm Sarah James and Thanks for building with me, guys. I've enjoyed it. I've had a great day, and I hope I see you again soon.